What's up guys, today we're going to be doing some math and uh, for this video I'm going to be showing you an example from my uh, calculus book and in this example we're going to be converting cylindrical coordinates to spherical coordinates and if you're warning this is uh, number 43 in the chapter 12.7 of the calculus second edition alright so the uh, question calls to convert 202 in cylindrical coordinates to spherical coordinates. The way we're going to do this is first we're going to convert to rectangular coordinates and then after that we're going to uh, convert the rectangular coordinates into spherical coordinates. So uh, this will give us an idea of what's happening here. We have a uh, we have an r, a theta, and a z. This is a uh, this is going to be our 2, this is going to be our 0, and this is going to be our 2. And we're going to want to convert that into an x, a y, and a z. The uh, way that we're going to do this is through these two equations. And x equals r times cosine theta, and a y equals r times sine theta. And once we have these two equations here, we can just plug our r's and thetas into here to help us solve for x and y. So we're going to plug the uh, r and theta into the first equation. That will get us 2 times cosine 0. This eventually will lead us to 0. And we're going to plug the same, uh, the same variables into this equation. This will get, it, get us 2 times sine 0 and that will get us zero eventually once we work it out and so that will get us our x and y and next we need the z the good thing about this is that the z just transfers over completely so the two will just become a two over here so that will get us the coordinates two zero two in rectangular coordinates now this is the same uh, coordinates as uh, so the cylindrical coordinates same exact values this won't happen for all, all conversions between rectangular and cylindrical coordinates. This is only a special, a special case. So uh, let's continue and convert these rectangular coordinates to spherical coordinates. And so in this one, we're going to be going from x, y, and z to rho, theta, and phi. Some people call it uh, phi, but we're going to call it phi. So the first equation that we're going to want to use is rho squared equals x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Now what we're going to do is we're going to is we're going to bring the uh, squared over here, and so it's going to be rho equals squared root x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And when you plug the uh, two into x and the 2 into what into z it will you will get 4 plus 4 in here the uh, y will be a 0 so we're going to get the square root of 8 the square root of 8 simplifies to 2 square root of 2 all right so uh, that gets us our row that is the first uh that is the first variable in the uh, or that is the first coordinate in the uh, cylindrical coordinates so we got off we got off to a good start. We only need two left. For the next one, we're gonna want to use z and rho. So we're gonna set z, which is two equal to rho cosine phi. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take rho and we're gonna plug it into here. So we're going to eventually get two equals two square root of two times cosine phi. Now we can uh, we can do a little bit of, of algebra here and we can get the square root of 2 divided by 2 equals cosine phi. Now using a uh, unit circle or you could use your calculator and do the inverse function of cosine on both of these or just on this and it will get you uh, the pi over 4. So that is going to be our phi. And the neat thing about uh, about converting to uh, 
from a cylindrical to spherical coordinates is you can take the theta from your cylindrical coordinates and it will equal your theta and your spherical coordinates. Alright, so with those with those three uh, equations, that little tiny equation right there, we're going that's going to get us our uh, coordinates. So we can look at the answer now. The uh, the row is going to be two square root of two. We're going to still have a we're going to still have a zero, and then we're going to have a pi over four. All right, guys. I hope this helped you out uh, learning some uh, conversion between coordinates. Uh, I know that this is a uh, that uh, that uh, converting the uh, theta just the theta. I know a, a lot of uh, people don't cover that in in, uh, in class, so I decided I just wanted to share this with you guys, and uh, hopefully this helped you out. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you later.